Hey everybody. Alright, so just when you thought all the rust was gone, look back here and we got some more rust. But I think I've kind of gone over it now and I believe that this is the last of the rust. So what I'm going to do is just cut out this section here and I'll put a new piece in there. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on that. Um, one thing I did see, which I've noticed before, but I was looking at this, and it looks like it's an old dealer tag, or a sticker, or painted on, or something, but uh, as best I can make out, it looks like some Studebaker, something Studebaker, in, I believe, Lubbock, Texas. I've been trying to research it a little bit. I mean, I doubt there's still a Studebaker place around, but I just thought, boy, it'd be really cool to get this thing kind of put back together, and contact the dealership if it's still around and uh, see if I could get an original sticker or something to put back there but anyway so if anybody watching this knows anything about Studebakers or Studebaker dealerships in Texas I would think circa 1947 thereabouts the same year as the Jeep um, like I said I did look a little bit online and I found a couple of dealerships but the thing that's throwing me off is this guy here. I can't tell if it's just a 6 or was it a B or a G or a C. Well, not a C, but an E. Anyway, so I did find a Bob Studebaker um, about that year in the 40s, early 50s. So I don't know. Anyways, I just thought I'd throw that out there. Maybe somebody watching might have some ideas. If you do, please post something in the comments. Okay, so anyways, like I said, I'm going to work on this guy right now. So let me get that cut out. And uh, I'll turn this thing back on in just a little bit. Alright, so I got the old piece cut out, as you can see. I still will need to get this guy off the back end, just draw the spot welds and uh, put that on there. But I found this piece. I've still got some more of that flat sheet left, but I was messing around one day and I guess I made this little angled piece. Which I was kind of thinking of using, but... Now I'm looking at it going, no, I'm not, I mean, I'm going to use it, but not use the angled bit. So let me just uh, cut it up this way, and then I'll put it in the brake and uh, kind of get the bend to it and get it shaped and stick it back in there. One thing when I was taking it apart, um, this part was already ripped off a little bit. And when I was trying to get the grinder in here to separate the spot welds, the top kind of tore even more. So obviously I just cut it off and I'm just going to replace this little section as well. Um, so yeah, let me just get going on this and uh, I'll come back in a little bit when I got something to show you. Alright, so I got the one little piece in there and it's not looking too bad. So what I'm going to do now is get this other piece, get that laid in there and tacked in and I'll come back in just a little bit and show you what it looks like. All right, and there is the new piece welded in. Put a little body filler on it, and we will call it done. So, um, oh, I still have to, which I'm not going to include in the video, but take this guy off and uh, weld it on the back side. So that should be the easy part. So, like I said, I'm not going to include it in this video. But, uh, anyways, like I said, a little body filler and that bracket, and I think we're good. So. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.